welcome back to the channel. As you can see the B-roll, I'll be talking about my new monitor from Dell. Before I went ahead and made this purchase, there were some criteria that I was looking for before purchasing the monitor since I will be using it for video editing, gaming and overall productivity. The first thing that I was looking for is the size. 27 inches to 32 inches that's between the sweet spot between having a good monitor with great visuals and it's one of the most manufactured right now out there between 27 inches and 32 inches so you're in the sweet spot when you're going for such monitor and it must be between 2k or 4k either a qhd or 2k monitor or you can have a 1440p and you can also have a 4k but this monitor is a 4k monitor and i kind of short myself with the rgb because i was going for the asus monitor but that short me as well with as it relates to the hertz that it was offering which is 75 hertz which i wanted a little bit more especially that i will be gaming on this monitor and it must have an ips panel ips panels are some of the most manufactured out there right now and it's right between the pixel the dense you have the va you have the ips panel and you have the oled those are just panels that are there just to give you a much brighter contrast between what you see on the monitor, how bright is it and how dull it is. It's just a pixel per inches. That's what it's basically for. You have different type of display out there between OLED, IPS panel and VA. But the one that I'm hoping for right now that I'm using will be an IPS panel and it must have USB-C. USB-C is very important because most of the, the laptops today that are manufactured are having USB-C so it's easy for you to connect it via USB-C to a laptop whether that's a Windows, a Mac or you have a Mac Mini you could use it but most laptops still comes with HDMI cable but most of the monitors today if you want to just have that one card connectivity you just up for a monitor that comes with USB-C and that's what I wanted to transfer from which currently this is the one I'm using out USB-C, the one I had before, which is the LG monitor. Most of you guys that are all on the channel, we know that monitor. That monitor only had a HDMI cable and a display port. That's it. And it must have at least, which is really, really cool for the gaming that I'll be doing and also the video editing, just to ensure that the computer doesn't slow down or I don't miss out on great visuals as it relates to this monitor. On the back of the monitor, you can see you have the HDMI connectivity right here. Also have a USB 5.0 connectivity here. One of the greatest thing though about this monitor is that it comes with this shell. So once you go ahead and connect your ports, whether you're using the HDMI cable, you can connect it and then it comes with this shell right here where you can just put it on here to just hide the cables from showing from this section which is really really cool so you can just like put it right there and then the cables will come down through here and then you can just mount the cables through here as well and then that's good for a cable management under here though you also have another hdmi connectivity and you have the usb-c connectivity here which under there you can see it right there and then you also have the section here for the power jack outlet and then here is the power button for the monitor as it relates to the monitor movement you can move the monitor in many ways you can have it tilt upwards you can tilt it downwards as well you can have it horizontally to the right and horizontally to the left if you want to change it that way it could go vertically but for some reason i don't know how to extend the box so to me that's the only way you can change it and place the monitor wherever you want to have it but as you can see i like the ergonomic stand as well so i i'm not going to mount this monitor to the desk i'm going to keep the stand that it comes with and what i actually and what i actually like about this monitor is that it have its own cable tray as i mentioned before so cable management on this will be much easier and i'm using the usb-c cable that came with the monitor as well and this is giving me 75 hertz of refresh rate from my asus rock strip g16 that i unbox on the channel if you want to see a dedicated review on this it will be the first link in the description or you can just check my youtube page and you will see it right there here this is the specs after i connected the 
Windows laptop, my ASUS ROG Strict G16, and you can see what is running right here. And you can also see up here as well the Intel Core i9 4900X. And it comes with a designated graphics card, 8GB of RAM. As it relates to the specs, this monitor is a 27 inch 4K USB C monitor. This is the 25QC version. As I said before, it's a 4K at 3840 by 2160 and comes with 120 hertz of refresh rate this is a 16 by 9 display with an amd free sync premium you get rgb color brightness up to 99 percent with an integrated speakers with 15,000 by one contrast ratio is an ips panel with a matte surface display no what I'm going to do is that I'm going to test gameplay on the monitor. I already connected my Dell monitor to my Windows laptop, which is the Asus ROG Strict G16. So that's what we'd be powering this overall setup. Let's go ahead, test some of the games and see how the performance holds up. Also, look at that 120 Hz of refresh rate and look at that 4K display that we'll be getting with this monitor. And also look at the FPS as well. Well, you only need to look at the history books to see how close this fixture historically has been. Barcelona at home against Real Madrid on this occasion. I'm Derek Ray, sitting alongside me here on the gantry is Stuart Robson. And Stuart, this ought to be special. Well, Derek, this is a magnificent setting for a great rivalry. Let's just hope to see both teams play at their very best today. What an occasion this should be. Can he play it in? And he takes off the shot. Valverde. Can he put them in front? They come up. And then, at the second time of asking, just what was required. It was required. So that's it guys, as you can see, we were getting great FPS from 35 to 65 FPS on this monitor connected to the ASUS ROG Strict G16. This may vary depending on the system that you are using for gaming. Maybe you have a PC, you have a better GPU or more RAM, you get more depending on the system you're using. But as you can see, great monitor here great display as i also can see that it's holding up really really well and the color accuracy 99 percent is not at 100 percent but 99 percent is great rgb color accuracy as it relates to this and you also get the amd freestyle sync as well so that's great for gaming but let me know what are your thoughts on this video let me know your thoughts on this monitor leave a like share your thoughts down in the comment section and if you want to go ahead and get this monitor i will leave a link for it first link in the description as well do remember to leave a like share and subscribe for more until then peace tweaks signing out